Come in. I need you to tell me exactly what he said to you. He said he was glad we were friends, that I'm a good pianist and should keep pursuing music, and I asked him how everything was going, and... What did you say? Carly? He said ending. Did you call him? He didn't answer. Have you tried? Maybe he'd answer- Yes, I've tried calling him. What did he say to you in the text? James, I love you. Don't ever give up on your dancing. You have so much potential. By the way, you've always been... Hey. Hey, man. I'm, I'm getting sick. Are you okay? Fine. Why? You've been uh, sending Carly and I some really weird texts and it's freaking this out. Where are you? At my dorm. You're really scaring me. James, I'm okay. You don't need to worry about me. Can you meet up today? Sure. What time? 3.30? I have a job interview after work. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be there. You promise? Yeah. Promise me you'll be there. I promise I will be there. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, I'll, I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. What did he say? He said he's fine. Just getting sick. We're meeting up after work. Okay. That's good. Keep in contact with him. Make sure he's okay. I'll call housing. Something's really wrong. Maybe I shouldn't come to work today. Go to work. Keep texting him, keep him engaged. If he doesn't respond, go to the counseling center. I just want him to be okay. James, it's all right. Things will be okay. You'll see. Sorry, just thinking. Do you want to talk about it? I think I might have a problem with men. Oh? It just seems like whenever I go out with someone, it just fizzles out. Maybe it's because you're hetero. <laughs> Very funny. This one's boring. I'm serious, Heather. Apparently I have a date that I completely forgot about tonight. So cancel. We had planned this a while ago. I don't want to be rude. Whatever. 
enjoy the emptiness of casual sex. Maybe this one will be different. How are you doing, by the way? Good. When I'm not having a panic attack every hour, Daniel's mother seems hell-bent on ruining my life. Where are all of your books? Didn't Daniel give you, like, 12 more? Yeah, they're around here somewhere. Still unpacking. What? I brought something for you. It's from when Daniel and I ran off together. I thought you might like to have it. I can't keep this. I want you to have it. No, really. This is the time when we got our promise read. Take the damn picture. Fine. Place? Yeah, come on in. You are? <laughs> James. Zach. Nice to meet you. You too. So this is a pretty nice place. Is it yours? Um, no, it's my roommate's. Will he be making a guest appearance? He's out for the night. Cool. This is actually really good. It's just frozen food. <laughs> it's awesome. I need to get some for myself. So your profile didn't say much about you. Are you a student? Yeah. What are you studying? Um, modern dance. Okay. Have you ever like performed anywhere? Uh, yeah, once freshman year. Nothing since. Why'd you stop? Been busy. Yeah, I totally feel you on that. Work's been kicking my ass. I haven't even had time for jury practice lately. You're in the music program. Yeah, I play violin. But I'm thinking of like minoring in math or something like that. I don't know. I need to talk to my advisor. Cool. Why math? Well, like, music and math are like supposed to be related or whatever, so. When I do math problems, it helps me see music in like a, in a totally different way. <laughs> I sound stupid. No, you, you don't sound stupid. Maybe a little pretentious, but not stupid. So what do you dance? <laughs> Self-expression mostly. It helps me deal with stress. Keeps in shape. So I bet you're pretty flexible. I guess. Wanna show me? <laughs> Tell me you're here. here with me in this moment. I'm here. I know that guy. Huh? 
this guy in the picture? I've seen him before. What's his name? It's Daniel. Where did you get that? Daniel, huh? You're not a player, are you? Oh, do that. You know, he's kind of cute. You think he'd want to have a threesome? I was just kidding. I know. Dude. He's just a really good friend. My best friend, actually. This is for you. Well, did something happen to him? He died about two months ago. I'm sorry. Uh, no. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm such an asshole. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you know him? Well, I mean, I didn't really. I just, I'd see him walking around like the hallways or in a practice room in the music building. There was just something about him. His face. I don't know, but he's just one of those people that really stood out, you know? He didn't really talk much, though. How'd you know? We met freshman year. We had a class together, and we were partners for a final project. And things just clicked. And it wasn't a similar interest kind of thing. It was as if we had already knew each other as if we were already lifelong friends. What did he study? Piano performance and applied mathematics. Hmm. Smart dude. You're sprinting. Sorry you lost your friend. Me too. James. James, wake up. Come on, come see this. guys flake out on me before, you know, if you wanted to. Hey, I had a good time last night. So what if you had some tragic shit happen to you? 
It happens to all of us eventually. You got any plans for today? Just catching up on homework. Modern dancers have homework. <laughs> yes, modern dancers have homework. Oh. Well, excuse me then. <laughs> Was it fruitful? 